I am coming at you from Ketchikan, Alaska. It's about 7 o'clock right now and my mom and I are doing some light shopping and hanging around before um, our excursion starts at 7.45. And right away, coming off the ship, I am feeling the vibes of Alaska right now. It seems like everyone here is an early riser and boats are already driving around on this massive lake right in front of me. And I don't know, I'm just getting a really good vibe from this place. And I can't wait to show you around when we start our excursion. So Ketchikan is known as Alaska's first city because it is the first place where settlers settled. Is that and it is the first place where people settled during the gold rush. So it's crazy that we are currently in Alaska's first city. I'm not 100% sure if this is correct, but I also heard that Ketchikan is also the salmon capital of the world. I do need to double check that because I don't know if it's Ketchikan or Juneau. I can't remember, but there's a lot of salmon in Alaska. So we're definitely not leaving Alaska without eating some salmon. In a cold night, emptiness haunted me. I saw a light, but it was too dark for me. I heard you calling, I saw your sleepless face and I fell hard I guess I'm falling for you girl, I can reach the stars We are at the Totem Bite State Park and it's a park that has just a bunch of totem poles and a bunch of nature So totem poles can represent different things, they can tell stories, teach lessons they represent clans and they can be used to spread and pass down different stories and to like different generations of people. And also fun fact, they also make shame poles. So if you do something hella shady or if you're not a good person, then they make these totem poles to show that you and your descendants have done something really bad and haven't paid off your debt. I feel like it's kind of like spilling your tea to the whole village or neighborhood and you don't even have to say anything about it. totem bite state park and now we're on our way to the lumberjack show and I can't film during the lumberjack show so I may or may not show you some pictures or something I just know I can't bring this camera into the show so no hope anymore. and then someone walks in in your life and just light it up or more like screw it up again well I guess this is the main reason why I'm writing this song And it's already funny. So we're watching the Great Alaskan Lumberjack show right now, and she doesn't know that it's like a manly sport. They're all just going to be roughhousing with each other during competition. So I'm excited to see her reaction. I think she's excited, but she also looks confused. Mom, do you know what the show's about? I don't know. What do you think it's about? What do you think they're, they're going to do? Maybe they're going to do something. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. The lumber. Chop, chop. <laughs> We're watch we're gonna watch them cut some wood, mom. Yeah, chop chop for an upper. Okay, so we left the lumberjack show and did a lot of souvenir shopping. The lumberjack show was pretty fun. What do you think of the lumberjack show, mom? Yes, it's so nice. It's so manly. Yeah. <laughs> it was very manly. Throughout the whole show, they were including a lot of jokes and puns and stuff, and they were totally pushing their mail or their lumberjack calendars. And I don't know about you, mom, but I wanted to get one. Which one? <laughs> the lumberjack calendars. What you didn't get? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, we're headed back to the boat or if we find like a restaurant or convenience or we're gonna grab some lunch. The weather here is actually not as cold as I thought. Um, it's just in the 60s with a little bit of wind. There was a little bit of sunshine too um, this morning. So, I don't know. 
I've seen snow on the tops of the mountains, but otherwise here, not really, not too cold. Um, hopefully Juno and Skagway are the same, but you never know. Please don't make me go. Please don't make me go back to real life. Yeah, it could be fatal. Please don't make me go back to my mind. This has to be more than just an emotion. So we're back on the boat now and the of Ketchikan from up here is amazing. You guys have to see it. Here, check it out. Look at this beautiful scenery. And then the city of Ketchikan is right over there. And you could see more of the snowy mountain tops. And you have a great view of the pier and people chilling, just enjoying this view. It's amazing. Like, look how tall those trees are. Wait. Zoom camera, zoom. Look how tall those trees are. Yeah, Alaska's really beautiful. It's not as cold as I thought. Um, but... Did you have fun, mom? Yes, have fun. <gasps> Wait, oh, shit, I thought you dropped your phone. I thought, huh? I thought you dropped your, I thought your phone was in this hand and you dropped it. Oh. oh my God. <laughs> God, you make me nervous. Making me nervous. That's my hand. <laughs> what was your favorite part? Taking pictures. Taking with pictures. all the shop uh, stores, <laughs> a lot of things to buy, but uh, no more money. Yeah, no more money. We we dropped a lot of money on the first port out of four, so we still have a long way to go. Okay, we have three more places to go, so we yeah. have to squeeze our budget. But we're having fun. Mm -hmm. It's nice. What are we gonna do now? Okay, it's time for us to go eat. Yeah. We're hungry now. We haven't eaten all day because we just went shopping and did our tours and stuff all day. So, yes, we're going to eat. Okay, see you later. Cocktail party. Don't mind if I do. Mm-hmm. You got free cocktail. Green. You got the She already went outside to see the color change. I also nice. put this one here as well. I think it uh, doesn't fit there. Which one do you like more between the two? I like the bigger one. Of course I like the bigger one. The, the price is nice though. What's that ring you tried on, Mom? What did they say? 9,000. Not even. 39. Oh. How much is that? 19? 39,000. 39,000. Oh, it was yeah. the first one. I'm not gonna eat anymore. Because <laughs> we're on TV! Wow! Oh, it's over. We made it on TV, y'all. On the Princess Cruise Ship. Yep, that's it. <laughs> I don't know, I just thought that was pretty cool. My mom and I were on the screen for a little bit. <sighs> okay, I think it's time for a nap. later now and I am on one of the decks just looking at the scenery. I just finished the jive ballroom dance class and it was super fun. My mom and I got lost um, during the steps. Um, but <laughs> it was really fun. It was like a nice light workout after a heavy lunch and dinner. Um, but now I don't really have plans for the night time. Um, I'm just going to here. I think I'm going to catch up on editing videos and looking over our itinerary for Juno tomorrow. And I'm so excited. I'm not going to tell you guys right now what we're going to be doing in Juno, but it's pretty exciting and legit and it's definitely something to cross off my bucket list. But yeah, so check out this view actually. Here, this is what I am currently looking at. Super nice, kind of noisy, but yeah, and it's really, really cold. I'm trying to see if I can spot some whales or something. Maybe, maybe not. I can't believe that I'm already almost halfway done with this trip. Like this trip is going by so fast and so slow at the same time. Like definitely the times where I'm on the boat, um, it's going by super slow. But when we were on land, especially in Ketchikan, the time just flew by so fast. Ketchikan was honestly a blur. Like it was only a half day schedule, 
but still I feel like I didn't really get to see it and fully um, in indulge, it immerse, fully immerse myself in the culture. Um, everything was kind of fast and like rapid fire, but it was still fun regardless. I'll just relive it through my vlog. Yeah, so if you've been following the Alaska vlogs, let me know in the comments below actually if you're liking these vlogs, how I could switch it up. Um, I mean, the series is going to come out after I post everything, but for my next travel vlogs, let me know how I'm doing. Should I include more educational content? Do you guys want to see more montages, more scenery, more photos, um, less FaceTime, less commentary, or more commentary for me? Yeah, let me know. It actually all helps me better my content. I really want to switch up my vlogs and upgrade them for this and next year. So. Yeah, it'll really help me out. Let me know. Uh, but other than that, I'm thinking about heading back to my room. I'm really only in this Urban Outfitters cardigan and some leggings. <laughs> so I think I might head back soon and get to work. So I think I'm just going to end the vlog here and enjoy my night. I don't see anything exciting happening in the near future. But if there is, I will bring you guys along. But I don't think that's happening tonight. Yeah, so I just want to thank you all so much for watching this vlog. And I will see you in the next one when we're in Juneau. Alright, good night.